Hello and welcome to this demo. My name is Mumshad Manambeth and I'm going to demo the creation of an Ansible playbook using the playable tool. If you're not sure about the playable tool that I'm talking about, please go back and uh, visit the overview and getting started guide first. In this uh, video demo, I'm going to show an example of generating an Ansible playbook using this tool to deploy instances on Google Cloud Platform. So I have a project created here on Google Cloud Platform and I'm going to use this project to demonstrate the solution. So basically I have one compute instance here as you can see um, and that is where I'm going to deploy the tool. So detailed instructions on deploying um, the tool, uh, playable tool, is available uh, on another video called Getting Started. So, but here I'm still just going to um, demo that real quick. So I'm just going to have Docker installed on this. So I'm going to do a doc, um, sudo docker run 80. Uh, I'm going to create a port map for the web server. And I'm going to say, Ansible playable. <clears throat> and as you can see, it immediately kicks off and starts the web server. And as you can see here, it says Express Server listening on port 8080 in production mode. So I'm all now I'm now all set to uh, go ahead and access the web browser. So I'm going to um, access the external IP for this uh, instance. And it's currently HTTP. So I'm now, um, I can now see the web, uh, playable web portal. Uh, once I'm here, um, I can now uh, go ahead and uh, create a project, um, but you'll have to log in first. Uh, by default, an admin user is created. Um, so it's called admin at example.com and the password is admin. So I'm logged in now. Um, the first thing to do is to create a project. So I'm going to the projects tab and click on the create button, give a project name. So I'm going to say uh, GCP uh, project. And you have two options here for uh, providing the Ansible host. Uh, it is not mandatory to provide a host. Um, this simply indicates uh, what host or Ansible controller machine you want to use. So if you if you are not planning to use an external Ansible controller machine, if you want to use the built-in um, Ansible, then you can just leave uh, the this particular field as it is and uh, click on save. When you do that, um, you can see that it's automatically identified the Ansible host as local host, and it's all it also identifies uh, the Ansible version to be. 2.3.1.0. Um, so now we have the project created. Uh, the next step is to go to designer and uh, design our Ansible playbooks or Ansible project. So we go into designer and here we select the uh, Ansible project name. Um, <clears throat> and the first task is to create an inventory file. So we click on inventory and um, this is the interface. So here we have all the inventory information like the groups and hosts. Currently, we do not have any. And on the right, uh, we actually see the, um, the inventory file being generated automatically based on our actions. So we are going to first create a file. And so click on Create Inventory. And we have inventory here. Um, given names, the name is inventory. So now we have created an inventory file. Uh, when you click on it here on the right, you can see the, the contents of the file. Now we can now create groups and, and hosts. So I'm just going to create a local host here. So click on create. And this interface lets you um, create a host. So I'm just going to create local host. And um, I do not have any groups as of now. So I'm just going to leave this, this section as it is. And then in the host variables, I'm going to define a set of um, key and value pairs. So one of the um, uh, one of the key value pair that I need is the Ansible connection. So I have Ansible underscore connection, and that's going to be local for local host. 
Um, <clears throat> And um, I also need a set of key value pairs for the Google Cloud Platform. So there, there are a set of prerequisites. If you go to the guide, Ansible's guide on Google Cloud Platform, you will see that uh, there are some uh, prerequisites required, such as creating a service account and downloading the JSON credentials. So uh, I followed these instructions and I've created a service account. So if I go back to my Google Cloud Platform console under IAM, and playable. Uh, so I've created a service account called playable, and this is what I will be using to establish connectivity from Ansible to my Google uh, Cloud Platform. And I have, if I go to service accounts here, I have created a set of key value pairs for um, that can be used. So you basically need a credential file to establish connectivity to Google Cloud Platform. So if I go to playbooks, and um, that's I'm going to create a new playbook. So I say playbook here. I'm going to say GCP um, demo. You said GCP demo dot YAML is automatically appended. And then when I select the, the playbook, I get to create plays. So my first play is going to be deploy GCP or G deploy application on GCP. And I can give a tag for it if I want. I'm just going to use the same as tag. Then I get to select the inventory file and the host um, for that particular play. Click on save. And now if I click on the plays, I now get to create tasks under the plays. And as you can see here on the right, um, as and when we go and create playbooks and plays, it automatically creates this playbook on the right, right here based on our inputs. Now click on create task. Then I'm going to say um, deploy compute engines on GCP and the module. This is this is where we specify the module. So when I start typing, as soon as I start typing, it automatically lists all the modules available. So I'm going to say GCE and GCE is the module that I'm interested in. And you can see all the other uh, Google Cloud Engine modules that are listed here automatically. And when I say GCE here on the right, um, at the top, I first get a help section, which describes what this module does. And here on the bottom, I get a few examples um, of, of using this module. But here um, on the left bottom section here, um, I get to see all the parameters that um, are required or that are part of this particular module. Now, the only required parameter is the zone here, which, which you have it at the top, but uh, as you can see here with the star, but uh, the remaining are not mandatory. And uh, the def you can see the default values are there automatically for these, um, this module. So what I'm interested in here is um, a few parameters, for example, the credentials file. So I've actually stored uh, I've already created a service account and downloaded this uh, credential file as part of uh, a prerequisite. So if you go to the guide, uh, Ansible's guide on Google Cloud Platform, you will see this a set of instructions available here to create a service account and download the JSON credentials. So I've already followed these instructions. And um, so I'm just going to give that information out here. So I've stored my credentials in a file called um, slash etc for slash playable underscore service account dot json so that's there and i'm really not um, bothered about any of these i'm just going to leave it all as default so what i'm interested in next is uh, the property name so i'm going to say playable here so all my instances starts with this name and then num instances the number of instances i want to create so i'm just going to say 10 so it creates 10 instances and the project ID right here. So I need to specify the project ID. So if I go back to my Google Cloud um, platform console and here, if you click on the project here, you get the project ID. So I'm just going to take that and put it here. And then I have the service account email. So this is the email that is required for your, uh, this is the email of your service account. So if you go to, um, IAM and service accounts. I've already created a service account following the guide here. And uh, I'm just going to copy the email 
and paste that here. Then I'm just going to leave the rest of it as it is. So the state is going to be present, so I'm, I'm good with that. And I'm going to say save. So now, as you can see here on the right, it's automatically created, generated that playbook um, with, the, with the parameters that we specified. So we're good with that. So I also have an option to edit the file in the raw format. So I'm just going to select the playbook here and click on edit. And then now I'll be able to make any changes here. I'm just going to change it from 10 to five. I don't want too many deploying. Okay, so I'm going to click on play now and click on the play button again. So here you have a set of uh, additional properties if you want to run it in check mode or ver verbose detail, etc. So we're just going to ignore that and just go click on play. Wait for it to deploy. Okay, so it is um, successful. As you can see here, um, two okay and one changed. Um, and here you can see information about the newly deployed instances. And if I now go back to my compute engine and refresh, I should now be able to see all the instances that it just deployed. So that's a quick demo of getting started with creating playbooks for Google Cloud Compute Engine. Thank you very much for your time. And if you have any issues, please reach out to me or raise an issue in GitHub.